we look at the recent 2023 MC12 problem 23. It is an equation in two variables, but it is a hidden problem for A, M, G, M inequality, even though we're given an equation for two variables. The problem here is how many ordered pairs of positive real numbers satisfy this equation? Right, the answer are 0, 1, 2, 3, or infinite many. A and B, positive real numbers, and the satisfies this equation when you see the two variable, one equation, you may want to choose this answer, infinite many pairs. However, it may not be the case because the real number, they may not satisfy the equation at all. So one example is that if I tell you a minus b square plus a square equal negative five. For the real number, sum of squares greater or equal to zero. That's impossible. How do we go about it? If you expand it, this may be messy here. Some students will try a common trick that is to treat this as an equation in one variable. For example, treat b as a constant, and this would be the equation here for a. To make it clear, so that would be 2a plus 1 times 2a plus b equal 32ab over 2 plus 2b over 1 plus b. You try to expand it, this will be quadratic term, and this linear term of a move to the left hand side. And people realize, oh, this is a quadratic equation, so maybe there are two solutions, right? The algebra would be messy, and that is the wrong direction. We will do here, we actually use AM, GM inequality, x and y greater or equal to zero, we have x plus y greater or equal to two square root of xy. Equality holds if and only if x and y are equal to each other. Let's apply this inequality for each of the terms in left hand side. All right, so one plus two a greater or equal to two square root of one times two a, that's two a, and two plus two b greater or equal to two square root of two times two b, four square root of b. And the other term is two a plus b greater or equal to two square root of two a times b. Since the quantity is positive, it is safe to multiply this inequality, the left hand side, equal to 1 plus 2a, 2 plus 2b, 2a plus b, greater or equal to the multiplication over here, that's 4, 2, 2, that would be 16, 16, square root here, you have 2a, b, and 2ab, so you have 2ab, so that's equal 32, a, B. Inequality here, but the equation is equality. So when the equality holds, we need the equality to hold for all three of them. And the condition here would be, so this equal, if and only if the two number equal to each other, one equal to two A. Now for the second one, two has to be equal to two B. So the equality here, if and only if 2 equal 2b. Similarly for the third equation, if and only if 2a equal b. Okay, so that's if and only if the a equal 1 half. The second condition says b equal 1. And the third it says 2a equal b. We notice that 2a equal 1, oh, it indeed equal b. A equal one half, B equal one is the only solution. So go back to the original. The answer to this problem is B. All right. So we use A M G M inequality, even though this is an equation in two variables. Not everyone can spot that. How to think about we use A M G M? For me, one of the hint is that 32, that's a bunch of twos, 
right? So AMGM for two numbers, you would have a factor of two. There's a trigger for me to spot, you know, maybe that's related to the AMGM inequality. For these and other interesting math problems, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel.